Hello everybody, welcome to the Football Fill-In. We've got Office Dog in today. Darcy, say hello to everybody, say hello to the world. Didier. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Didier Dogba. Um, the 22-23 Didier Dogba. I like this. <laughs> oh, the fun has begun. <laughs> Go on, what was that one? Harry K9. Okay. Harry K9. <laughs> oh, it's good. I Mark, come on. don't have one. You've got to have some. <laughs> Keep it going. This I like that. Dogba. Dogba. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the script. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, the 22-23 season is done, Ski. Man City ended up absolutely pissing it. But the final day action was all down at the bottom of the league. Everton, Leeds and Leicester all stood a chance of getting relegated. Everton, though, solid 1-0 win. Saw themselves safe. Leeds, Leicester, what's going to happen Dokore. Dokore. <laughs> Abdullah Dokore. Yeah. Abdullah yeah. Dokore. Yeah. Football yeah. filling you up. Ross Barkley. That's it. That's a good one as well, isn't it? 20 minutes we waited to that, to that cut. Yeah. 20 minutes. I like it. Right, anyway, we've got giveaways for you this show. Um, we've got these. Somebody sent these lovely, like, Wrexham um, kind of shirt, canvas kind of... I've signed them anyway. We're going to pick two people. How are we going to win it, Jay? Football fill in Instagram. On the Football Fill In Instagram page. Get yourself over there. Give this picture a like. Get in the comments. You know what to do. We'll pick somebody at random. Sweet as a nut. The quiz coming at the end of the show, as usual. Yeah. Final quiz on the season. Uh, we've got to start with Everton, though, boys. Mm-hmm. Um, fantastic win for them. Massive win for them. You all kind of knew they were going to do it. Sean Dyche coming in was a masterstroke. You knew what we he was going to get done. Um, but did you watch a game? Yeah, I, I thought it was, I was nervous about yeah. it. You know what? Yeah. And and it, and it's so. I think I remember Everton doing this in the nineties as well. It takes. They were never going to score an easy goal or a tap. It. it was such a good goal, and you look at it and you go, if they don't score that. Like they've they've struggled to score all season. They're done. Um, Leicester did their bit, and Anna was like, Everton's biggest problem is going to be scoring because if they draw, I think they went down, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they so, did. Yeah. Great goal, and I was just like, maybe Bournemouth were a bit. Rabbit in the headlights already done, but I did think at some point there might be a dodgy. It was just, it was nervy, but uh, I think the right team stayed up, yeah, Everton. 10 minutes, 10 minutes of injury oh, time, too. Imagine being the fan. 10 right. minutes. Yeah. I was I, chewing my nails, I was watching that. But the, the one that, the result that got it for them was that Brighton result. Yeah. And Massive they, yeah. result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, God you're right. Out of nowhere. I could not believe that. And when they did that, I was like, it's mad know, to right think there. if they didn't do that, they'd be down. 100%. Bloody hell. Yeah. Mate, unbelievable. And Sean Dyche. What a bloke. What a bloke, him. yeah. And what a job he's done. But they need, next year, they need, in the summer, they need to real reshape that. Yeah. Because it can't happen again. It happened last season, they just stayed up. Well, I think Daichi's that guy, up. isn't he? Daichi is, he's a powerful manager, do you know what I mean? Yeah. He carries a lot of weight, doesn't he? So we will be able to say to the owners, no, he's not going to be in my plans. He's not going to, you can imagine there being a huge overhaul at Evan, couldn't you? Problem is, I think that defensively they're fine. They can't score goals. If Calvert-Lewin was fit, They'd, they'd be they'd be yeah. fine. He'd give you at least another ten points just by being fit. But obviously, there's, it's not his fault. But there's a problem there, and their problem's going to be: can they attract players? I mean, Everton, like Tube says, third time unlucky. If they're in down there next year, I think they will go down. So big summer for them. Have they got the money? Big time. Uh, I love the so watching the game. Like I say, ten minutes to go. Even with twenty minutes to go, they'd already scored the goal. But Everton was still giving it a go. You know, they were still pushing forward. Bournemouth, I think, was probably the ideal opponent to be perfect. Big time. Massive, Big like they, they, you could tell that. They, yeah, they'll give it a little go. They'll, you know, yeah. they'll turn up. They can't just down tools or whatever. But I just thought I was so impressed with the way Everton not only kept on the front foot but defensively. Whenever balls were coming back to them, they were getting rid of them, cleared. Like, they were sticking balls in the air so that everybody had a chance to try and get reset again, get back into their positions. Um, but you see what it means to them at the end. It's nice, isn't it? This, this is this is a beautiful football. I'm not an Everton fan, but you see how much it means to everybody. You think, yeah, fair dues. Goodison that. Park was absolutely yeah, rocking. It would have been as well, wouldn't it? Atmosphere. So um, right, come on. on. This is this. I promise you guys, this will not be the longest episode in the world today. All right, I've got. Uh, we've got. We've got the Tyrone Mings Golf Day today on, um, at the Balfry. Uh, shout out to the Tyrone Mings Foundation. Is yeah. I think it is. Yeah. It's going to be a fantastic event today. You've got to go and do some sort of what is it? Interviews or no? Lie in my garden. That's it. Just chill. Go in the hot tub. Yeah. Yeah. You need to top up that tan a little bit. Please do some more Instagram. For that. I'm going to do some Instagram topics. stuff. Yeah. yeah. I've got, I've he got loves a good it. One. I've got a good one. It's, I, I always message him and go, yeah. "You're a dickhead." You are. What an <laughs> You know the amount. You know the, hey, Do you want to do it? By the way, lots of players have dropped in my DMs and given me some love. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, not I'll, not like pics and anything like that. I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> they get deleted. But no, I've had a few players going like. 
Fair play. Name names then, mate. Well, I don't know whether I can. I did. I did. I, I, yeah. I'm jumping in there going, yeah, I love this, mate. It's yeah. what I want to say, no, all right? Some apps. There'll be more. We'll 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 I need see. to be playing up front in these yeah, charity games. Absolutely. Where's my invite? We'll see Techers if we can get him, um, if you can get to, to drop some names in a minute. Right, let's go to Leicester, OK? So um, another one I was kind of flicking between the two a little bit. Um, Leicester, they did their job. Um, just fell short, though. What is going to be... What is going to be next for Leicester next season? Because this is a massive problem for them, isn't it? I, I, th I hate to say it because they're a fantastic football club to work with, friendliest people, but I think they're going to struggle. Yeah, massive. I think half their team's going to leave. I know. Sending them into the wilderness. Mate, I don't... And that, that stadium, the training ground's the nicest training yes, ground I've ever been to. And I do worry because Tielemans will go, Madison will go, Dewsbury Hall will go. Yeah. Harvey Barnes will probably. Harvey Barnes, I mean... Vardy's already Seb, gone. Seb's not in here, is he? So Seb, who works for us, is a is a Leicester fan, and um, he's been sat in this seat here all morning with a face like a smacked. I think he's in the him. toilet now. I'm crying again. Yeah, he, I think he will be too. He's an upset boy. He it's... went to the toilet with the Kleenex, and I, well, it'd be one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> one or the other. I think he's crying. <laughs> but I think the um, I think with Leicester moving on, I think with Leicester, but but it's the same as what you said about Everton. They were one game away from staying up, literally two more points, and they'd stay up. And you think about when they sacked. Rogers. They had two home games yeah. with two caretakers. No one's even remembered now. That's six points. You can't yes. afford to oh, do that. No, it's yeah. just bad ownership. And uh, look, whether they come back or not, you know, that's that's down to ownership again. But they they shouldn't be in that position. Leicester. And they shouldn't have got rid of Brendan Rogers. No, they shouldn't. Brendan Rogers, I truly believe, would have kept them up. Oh, do you know what? The, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to put it out there. Do you know the the main reason why they got relegated this season? Getting rid of Casper Schmeichel. Yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah. Getting rid of Casper Schmeichel at the start of the season, I saw it and I was like, what are you doing? Honestly, captain what, as well, wasn't what it? are yeah. you? Captain, he's been there for, what, 10, 12, 13 years? Been through thick and thin. He's won, won everything. He's a leader on the pitch, leader in the dressing room, sets the tone. And as soon as they got rid of him, I thought, oof, that's, that's silly. Well, what's that a, silly. Another 100 grand on his way, uh, maybe maybe 50 grand a week on his wages would have done it. But even if it's another 100 grand a week, 5.2 mil million for a year. Yeah, I know. And well, yeah. what have they lost going down? It's, it's like, yeah, it? sometimes it's worth it, isn't it? So, yeah, they're going to lose all the big boys. Harvey Barnes is going to go, you know that. You know James Madison is going to go. Tielemans, I think they've got nine players out of the contract in, in the summer anyway. Um, it's so, going to be all changed. It's worrying, worrying times. I agree with you, though, a bit. I think Leicester, they seem like a nice club, don't they? They, they do. They well, seem honestly, like a nice honestly, club. you go there and like, when you, we used to go there with Soccer AM, they're the nicest. Oh, you know what Leicester need to do? They need to do what Burnley did. Get someone in like a Vincent company and just go, yeah. this is the platform. And it's yeah. a better platform than Burnley. And like Tube says, the setup's great. So... The, <laughs> So many, it's about getting the right manager in. Yeah, true. They that. should have stayed with Brendan Rodgers. Look at David Moyes. Did you keep Dean Smith? No. No, you can't keep Dean Smith, no. You can't. No. I think it, he his contract's finished anyway, so they'll be getting somebody new in. But they, they, they need, go for? They need, I don't know, but they need a complete rejig of everything, of the way that they're going forward. I'd say, I mean, look, it might, they probably wouldn't do it, but someone like Graham Potter would be good. It's yeah, that would be a nice fit for It's a project it, yeah. where one year you're back and then you build. And sometimes if you're building a project, it's not bad to build, build it from the championship because yeah. you've got a little bit more leeway. Yeah, true that, yeah. Momentum into the, into the Prem. But I like whether that. Do, that. do you think Graham Potter would drop to the championship? I, th I, think, it's, I think it'd be a good move based on what you've said about the oh, setup. Yeah, um, pressure. I think it'd be a nice job for him to take. But I think the fact that it's championship doesn't come into it. I think it's Leicester City. Yeah. And that's the bit. And I think, yeah, yeah for sure, I understand what you're saying. It's a bit of a fall from grace. But Well, Leeds would be the same, City. wouldn't it? Leeds is a big job. Let's talk about Leeds then. Let's talk about Leeds. So um, one of the other teams who um, stop smirking, stop smirking. I just knew. Stop smirking. So um, Leicester, one of the other teams, sorry, Leeds, one of the other teams that could have got relegated on Saturday, um, on Sunday, sorry. Um, Got off to the worst start possible. Two minutes in, um, Harry Kane, and you're just thinking, what are you doing? Like, what on earth are you doing? Leicester Leeds have absolutely capitulated this last few weeks. Absolutely gone. Well, I thought when Chelsea gave the job to Lampard, that was stupid. I thought when it was, they, it when was they brought stupid. Big Sam in, I said it, and Leeds fans were calling up when I was on the radio, and they were like, no, nah, he's, got, he's got us back fighting. I said, you're down. You should have got stuffed by City and you're celebrating because you only conceded two. You're down, down, down. It's not 2013, it's 2023. That that needs to stop. Any owner out there next season, Big Sam Allardyce, Tony Pulis, they deserve respect, but it's 2023. You don't get them in now to give a team talk. Well, what, how this, many this, games this... did he come in with? Five games, was it? Four, four, games, four, five, four games. Four, five, four games. Like, you, you can't... They were down anyway. They were fair. down anyway, yeah. yeah, but that is... It just stinks of desperation. But West Ham it? and Spurs, they should have beat. Like yeah. West Ham last Sunday, I think you've got, you've got to go there and win that. Yeah. Spurs at home, 
You don't get battered by Spurs at God, Ellen no. Road. They were going to go down anyway, but that that was. But I, you know, I, again, I think they should have stuck with Jesse Marsh till the end of the season. You know, sometimes you know they, they were playing better with him. We at times on the start of the season we were going on about like what's his name Somerville and yeah, I mean, error and, the and yeah, playing away at Leeds is like honestly I've I've played there it's a horrible place to go it is like a cauldron seriously when them Leeds fans get going it's some it, fan it's, base it? is they're outrageous fans yeah and they make it so uncomfortable for you mm. and I'm I'm sort of like I say I'm flicking through games and stuff but I'm looking at the atmosphere at Leeds on on Sunday and I'm thinking they well, knew. this they knew. just looks comfy for Spurs yeah. this like the fans yeah. they, they they knew they knew they knew they had already resigned to it well, which the players. Fed off. You go one nil down after two minutes. Oh wow! Go in, then you see Everton, get, you know, and, and then Leicester. Yeah. You're like, but next I felt season, so bad. Le- Leeds next season, they're another funny one. You know, I don't know what they're going to do next season. You could, they could, they've got a lot of players that they bought in for forty million quid that are on hundred grand a week, hundred and twenty grand a week. Yeah. And all that. I don't know what they're going to do next year because none of them players are they're going to be able to get them off the wage bill. No. Uh, there's no, there's no shining stars really for Leeds, is there? No. Do you know what I mean? So they're they're going to struggle to get rid of any players. I think Leeds will adapt better than Leicester. Yeah, they'll they'll keep their squad at least. Yeah, I they think, will keep their squad. You know, they've got they leaders like strong, yeah, yeah, they've got leaders like Liam Cooper and people like that who. Push that that squad, and I think they'll be up there. And Bamford will be all right in that league. Yeah, he'll score, got he'll score your goals in that league, won't he? But again, it's about the manager. I mean, there's not a there's not a, um, a wealth of managers out there, is there? And you've got to get the manager. I think if you're Leeds or Leicester or Southampton or anyone looking to come up, you've got to get a manager that's not to keep get you up. They've got to be like manager first. Yeah. Manager's yeah. the priority. For now, these what's teams, the next three it? years? Because yeah. we're going to go up. What, how we how yeah. we stay up? Like Burnley've done it well, haven't they? Right, um, let's talk about one of the other teams where who had a little bit on the line on, on Sunday because there's not many of them, to be fair. So we're, st- we're, trying, to, we're trying to basically give the, t- give the teams a bit of love that had something to play for on Sunday. Um, so we're going to talk about Villa. Villa, Brighton. Um, when Unai Emery took over at Aston Villa, they were one point, one point above the relegation Jesus, zone. Jesus, unreal. One point above. And now they've just won their last game of the season against Europe. Brighton and they're in Europe. Like, that is... Do you support Villa now? Jamie's going like this behind yeah, the camera. We, if you use my stats, I was buzzing. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. He's, 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 yeah, he's, well, you never know with Jamie. Jay he's been a Chelsea fan. He's a Man City fan. He oh, might so be a Villa one next year. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, what, what Give it a job? <laughs> that, this, this, from what we've literally just been talking about, about getting somebody who knows what they're doing, a proper manager in through the door. And there were a lot of eyebrows raised, wasn't there, when Stevie G got sacked? Everyone's like, oh, OK, let's see how this turns out. Unai Emery has just shown everybody what he's about. He's come through the door and they have absolutely kicked the ass out of it, haven't they? Mate, what he's done is incredible. And I think we discussed it on here before. It's like, you know, at Arsenal, everyone was taking the mick out of him and stuff like that. And. He's mm-hmm. just shown, he's to have the balls to come back to the Premier League yeah. with a team that's one point above relegation and go, do you know what, yeah. sod you, I'm going to show you. So much respect. And you speak to any of the players about him, they just go, he's so in-depth. I love this. He, his attention to detail yeah. is incredible. Like Matty Cash said it, Tyro Ming said it. He said his meetings are so long, but you're like, in it. you are on it. Listening. Yeah. Because I know you're at his like, golf day, but... I think you just mentioned him there as well. I mean, Mings, I never understood why he played for England. And then in, since Emery's come in, I've gone, this yeah, season, I understand yeah. why he plays for England. Like, yeah. It's just like, you know, I don't watch Villa loads, but I was watching Mings at the start of the season under Gerrard, and I was like, he's, he's, he's terrible. Yeah, terrible all over footballer. Place a bit, isn't he? Yeah. And then you watch him under Emery and you go, this is a real example of how a coach can make such a difference coaching. to a player's confidence, it's literally coaching, what yeah. they're doing. Because, I mean, Villa can't do what they've done if they haven't. If Mings isn't good, Matty Cash is, you know, any weak spot you think they might have had in there, Jacob Ramsey, Konza, all these players, it's, it's just fantastic coaching. And I, when I tweeted it when he came in. I said, well, well, this is a weird one. I can't see this working. Mm. And, you know, it, it, it's been a revelation for them. And, and I'm so glad that they got the Conference League over Spurs because they were the team on the up and Spurs were on the team down. Yeah, and true. That. They deserve to get that. And they're buzzing, you know, Conference League football yeah. for oh. Chelsea or Liverpool or United. You're like, oh, God, I don't want it. For Villa, they really want it. Loads of Villa fans are just caught, oh, this is brilliant. We've seen what West Ham have done. We yeah, can't wait West for Ham, it. Yeah. It's like, you know, yeah. it's- you know, to, for a team like you know that's a good. It does that, then it? when they're it one point that. above relegation. Yeah. yeah. And now they're on a European. Yeah, thing. It's, it's nice, isn't it? And oh, they're going to spend it's money it's as well. What a re- what a well-run club. Yeah, I don't I don't know who owns club, yeah. that club, and that's probably a good thing. But you know, they they sacked Gerard, who they backed, 
and then they've gone and had a plan very quickly to get him in, and then he's hit the ground running. He's not even had a pre-season yet. Uh -huh. All can, money. Um, what they're going to do? Give a shout out to special shout out to Ollie Watkins as well. Fifteen mm. Premier League goals for the season. What has what has he got to do to get into the England squad? Because if England, is he not in it? If England, no, he's not in the England squad. Oh, no. So off. so this is what I'm South saying, eight. right? Please what what man. has what have players got to do to get into this England squad? So Ivan Tony apparently would have been in the England squad if he hadn't, didn't get the ban, right? So if they're not, so if he hasn't got to worry about pulling. Ivantonian, where does Ollie what what chance has Ollie Watkins got? Because that's surely you'd have thought that's a that's a striker slot available there then. And I'd, he still hasn't picked him in the team. I'd get a van, go down to where Southgate lives with a load of you know sweeping gear and everything, and just start sweeping his drive and cleaning his pool out and stuff like that. Because with Southgate, it's about who you know, isn't it? This I mean, is this Calvin is Phillips is, has yeah. been called up, Harry Maguire's Maguire. been called up. They shouldn't be called up. You know, it's just. Narcissistic, I, don't I think. Get the Ollie Watkins thing because he was in the squad. He has been picked by South. I think he has been, he has been before, picked before. Yeah, by, but how could you? How it. could you not pick him now? He's been on fire. The last few months, Blake he has been on goals fire. For fun. Who's he picked then? Harry Kane, Rashford. Rashford. Um, strikers wise, he wouldn't have picked Tammy Abraham, was it? No, no, no. Tammy, 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 Tammy Abraham's not in it. Um, who? Callum Wilson. Yeah, to pick well, Callum Wilson. Yeah, but he's not going to play Callum Wilson. He's not going to play him. You know, he's not going to play him. I'd go Watkins over Wilson. I know For that's sure. controversial, but it's that he's younger, he's fitter, he's more productive. Such a, such a strange one. I take, but take them both. It's the end of the season. Give them a bit of a boost. Right, come on. Anyway, let's rattle through it. Um, Southampton, Liverpool. Okay, um, definitely nothing to play in this one. Liverpool. Um, it was a bonkers game, to be yeah. fair. Four or um, yeah. I don't really need, need to talk about the game too much. I just want to talk about next season, how they can progress from here. Let's start with Southampton. Relegated early doors. It's been a shambles of a season for them. Nathan Jones. Don't even get me started. Don't get you started as well. Um, <laughs> I don't been, like him because you don't. No, I, I didn't say I don't like him. I'm just saying I just as don't, a coach. I, yeah, I don't. I don't he must be gutted it. after. He must be good. He must be gutted after Luton and all. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, that's oh, like, I know. You get sacked in January and then you get another <laughs> kick in the nuts in May. You probably got a good payout. That's, that's a double cock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Southampton next season. Um, what do we expect from them? What they got to do? Are they going to lose players? Tuesday point. They definitely lose players. And out of the three who are gone, gone down, like I said, I think Leeds will be all right. Yeah. And, and I, yeah. I don't know about Southampton. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that, I think I that's... Know. It's worrying yeah, yeah. times, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. They, have, they don't look like they've got anything about them. No. I agree. I think Leeds have got the best chance. Leicester, I think, have a chance. And yeah. Southampton, you'd go... Because there's teams in the Championship as well, like Middlesbrough and that, who are going to be... Hey, strong, yeah, yeah. seasoned mm. championship, championship teams. Know how brutal. to play in the Championship. There's a big difference. Like, if, you've got a, a if you've got a bunch of players in your team who kind of... No, we're Premier League players, maybe yeah. stroll about, we do this. Which You're Southampton not. seem to have a few of them players. Like they, a lot of they young think players they're, well. Yeah, they think they're something. They're nowhere yeah. near it yet. Do you know what I mean? People like James Ward-Prowse going to go. Yeah. Lavia probably going to go somewhere yeah, as well. Um, yeah, I'm with you, mate. I think they could do... So Watford, we got relegated to Watford last season, finished 10th, I think they did. 10th or 11th this they season. They could do Watford, I reckon. They could, yeah. do, they could do exactly That's that. Um, Where's Liverpool... Ward-Prowse going to go? That, pff, I don't know. This Villa. Is, yeah. could go Villa. He could go Villa. Villa, Villa or Newcastle. Villa. Villa or Newcastle, yeah. I'd say, yeah. Villa would be a good Madison's, position, you know? Madison's got to go Newcastle. Newcastle right? could go Newcastle. Do you know what? This is the thing, right? There'll be so many players, right? Oh, I guarantee there'll be so many players looking at Everton, uh, sorry, looking at Newcastle and looking at thinking, I hope it's me. Yeah. Mm. I hope it's me that gets that move. You want to be part of it. Yeah, I want to be I want to be the guy that gets that move. It's it's a nervy time. This is you don't want to be you don't want to be the player. Your agent goes. I've got a Premier League club. Yeah. Top half. Yeah. Spurs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a dickhead. You know. So if you're Eddie Howe, you taking War Prowse or James Madison? James Madison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm taking James Madison yeah. all day long. Absolutely. I think it's interesting though because like you know, if you think about it, next season you can only have a top four, and Man City are going to be in there. Yeah. yeah. Then you've got Liverpool. Newcastle, oh, this is fruity. Chelsea, yeah. Man United, steady on with Chelsea. Um, I'm not sure about uh, that. You've got to chuck Tottenham in there. Newcastle, Man United, Chelsea, Liverpool, Arsenal. 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 That's five for yeah. three. So you, you know, two, spicy, clubs, two clubs have to have a bad season straight yeah. away. I know. Yeah. And everyone's going, oh, United will be fine next year. Liverpool are going to bounce back. Chelsea with Pochettino. Arsenal will be up there. And Newcastle, you know, can't, it doesn't work. Yeah. You can't, you can't Pochettino get has got one hell of a job. 
massive on his goal. lovely little hands. Right, let's talk about Chelsea then. No, we haven't even spoken about Liverpool. Well, I let's, think Liverpool let, will yeah, be. So we let's, do them all, can't before we, yeah. we move on to Chelsea, then let's talk about Liverpool. So for next season, what does what do Liverpool need to do to to get back to being Liverpool? Basically? Sign a few players. What, yeah. what sort of players we're we looking at here? Midfielders, I think they need young, midfielders. energetic yeah. midfielders that are going to get about the place, revitalise everything. Alexi McAllister, I think they're in for. I think straight away. I that's think a good. That's, I think that's done. Yeah, yeah that's a yeah. good player. But the, they the, need probably two like the, that. The two Brighton players that um, Deserby said are probably going to get gone Cicedo. in the summer. Caicedo and McAllister. Yeah. So McAllister, I agree with you. I think we'll end up at Liverpool. I think it's. I think it's actually sort. Yeah, of Yeah, I'd say I'd imagine it's done. Um, Caicedo, where's he going to go? Arsenal. If that. It's the sort. So this is what I'm saying. Sort this of player is, that. But the, oh. sort of play, that's what I'd do if I was Liverpool. I'd go and get like. Yeah, I'd go and get a Casido and a McAllister, or you know, they were looking at Bellingham, weren't they? Which they're not going to get, but they they need two midfielders to drop in. I mean, they were looking at Mason Mount, weren't they? Because yeah. I think actually he would do a good job. Yeah, yeah. energetic. About him going to you now. Well, I think he will. Yeah, yeah. but it's, it was surprising. Do you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. If ten, well, I think you've always got to do what your manager wants. It's the same with Klopp at Liverpool, isn't it? And if if it surprised me. I liked Mason Mount, we've spoke about it, but this season I don't know what's gone wrong, but I liked him before this season. Ten Hag really likes him. You know, what, what's not to do it? You know, he's only 24. Mate, he's a super... Which, and that's super why Man United won him. Super player, super Liverpool, person. Arsenal, Mate. Chelsea. But what's gone wrong with him this season, I don't know. It's just yeah. Chelsea's been a hard place to be, suppose. Yeah, I mean, I think most of the players have thought mm. that were Chelsea. Let's talk about Chelsea then, yeah? Shall we talk about Chelsea? Do we have this to? is going to be the most to? interest. I think Chelsea could be the most interesting club this summer for transfers in I'm and about out. Chelsea. This could be bonkers this summer, issue. honestly. This could be absolutely bonkers. But you know what trouble they've got as well now? Anybody that they sign this summer, bearing in mind they have just spent half a billion on players as well, right? Any player that they sign this summer are going to want crazy wages because when they join and they see and a long contract. and they see Fernandez on two hundred grand a week, they see we're Mudrick dishing out eight year contracts. Week. They're, they're going to want the same sort of wages. Some you know? kind of sick joke. Wow, it's bonkers, isn't it, mate? What has he done to this? Like, how not to run a football club, basically? Could you imagine? Yeah. Could you imagine Thiago Silva, a legend of the footballing game, sat in a changing room <laughs> at full time and Todd Bowley walks through the door giving you a fucking team <laughs> This is not an point. imagination thing. It's, it's a good point, well. mate. It's a good point. It you don't go down well. Like, you just won the World Cup, didn't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm just a footballing legend. This guy actually thought we were going to get Champions League <laughs> automatically every season. And he's giving you... A, I mean... <laughs> Honestly, no. I've seen I've seen chairman come into the dressing room about um, don't go in the changing about room. twice in my career, yeah, twice in my career, and every time it's when you're in the shit, and every time it goes down like a lead balloon. <laughs> Honestly, you all just sat go, there just it going. It's the worst thing that could possibly happen. Everybody, they'll basically come in and go, win, lads. I need you to win. It's as simple as that. And you oh, go, no, no shit, yeah, mate. No, no. no shit. Really nice appreciate one, that. Lot. We're trying, you know. Yeah. We are trying. Well, I got told that. I mean, I got told that by a United player a few years ago. Not at United anymore. And they said an ex-player walked in the dressing room when we weren't doing really well and was all about, oh, you've got to do this, that and that. Oh. He said it went down bad. Horrible. It's like, who are you? Yeah. Why do I want to listen to you? And he said, look, obviously he's respected, but it's like they walk in like Billy Big Bollocks. But, but bollocks, he said, yeah. at least they've played for the bloody club and yeah. understand it. So you can only imagine what it's like with the chairman. Oh, that's like, horrible. Respect to Todd Bowley for, you know, sorting out, the, you know, sorting out money. The fair, yeah, he's bought the club. We we're in turmoil and stuff like that. Fair enough. But just, just stay away. Just, you know, if you... Twelfth. Twelfth, Chelsea. Twelfth. The problem and you've we're got... we're a joke. Twelfth. We're a joke. <laughs> no. It did, got, signed... got a good result against Newcastle, to be fair. Yeah, but we've signed, like, 28 wingers. Mm. Who are they f- crossing oh to? Like, we're... Palace, Palace finished above you. Fulham uh, uh, above you. Ben, I'm well aware. Brentford, ben, I'm well aware Tottenham. of this. Ben. Even Tottenham yeah, finished thank above you. Thank you, yeah. Ben. <laughs> I couldn't believe it at Old Trafford on Thursday. Just ha- how bad you Th- are. This was honestly oh, Chelsea. This game, well. right? We this game. Well. Chelsea, in fairness, could have scored two or three goals in the first. Well, half, we can't right? score. They could have scored. They yeah. Yeah, yeah. But in that second half, right? <laughs> I have never seen a team <laughs> just basically bend over and go, go on. Whatever you want, do what you want. This is embarrassing. It's, it's, like, it's like a beginner, yeah. <laughs> it's like a beginner playing FIFA and goes online, puts his little headset on, and, go, and goes up against a geezer who plays. And he's just button bashing. Yeah, he's just button bashing. Oh god, X X X X. Bang for one nil. You know what though? The thing I worry about Chelsea is I think if if they were coming from a place of calm where it's like we're building up like Newcastle, I think next season goes okay. But it's so chaotic. The fans are so pissed off. The players are all over the place. 
Pochettino's basically got to pitch them in God. the top three in his first few weeks, Good which I don't think that. he can. So you're going to be around sixth, seventh. There's going to be a few beatings, and it's going to be, what will Bowley do? Will he sack him? What will Poch do? What will the fans do? I just think it's a it's a powder keg waiting to go. Around, funnily enough, Guy Fawkes night, November the 5th. I think by then it's just going to go. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, if, if Pochettino has gone in the next season, if he's been sacked in the next season, right, over. then yeah, then that football club is just, it will implode. implode. Honestly, it will implode. Because it, it, go... it gets to the point where you go, this is a shambles now. Yeah. You're taking the piss now. Mate, you can't. Pochettino has got to be there for at least two years. At, at least. He at has least to be there. two seasons. Well, I've heard and I will be like, I've already got my new season ticket for next year because I love Chelsea. I love Chelsea and what the family like, dad being underneath the ground and all the you know all the history. But it just there's no feeling there yeah, at the moment. No. It's like there's no passion. I think if you get someone who scores goals, it changes things. And I've heard that they they really want to go hard on Osman. And to be fair to Chelsea, they, whether they buy the right players, they do tend to get what they want. So if you get Osman, he will score goals, and that. That's what you need, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, players, uh, players of that colour are going to go there at the moment. They're I don't know, because you've not got no Champions League football, have you? That's point. Yeah, they've, they've got the money. 12th. Yeah, it'd be tough. You've got to get a strike. They fancy an eight-year contract. Right, right. come on, let's keep it going, boys. Come on, because we've got a goal get day to get to. All right, Newcastle, um, it was a one-all draw at final game of the season. The match mm. is irrelevant, completely irrelevant. Fair play to Newcastle. They're going to strengthen in the summer. Yeah. It's going to be another team up there challenging. It's, I'm all over Newcastle. I like the way they're doing it. If you want a proper owner to do it properly... Follow the Newcastle way, not oh, the Todd Bowley way, basically. Eddie Howe, Eddie Howe. Yeah, Eddie I don't Howe. understand how people are sort of saying... I've seen a few pundits this week going on about Newcastle saying they're vulnerable next year, and I'm like, hold on a minute. What? They're quicker than Man City, and they're copying Man City. And when Man City got in the top four, they never left. Never left. So Newcastle, I don't see how they leave. Mm -hmm. People are going, oh, well, they'll struggle with Champions League. And I'm like, do you do realise how rich they are? Mm -hmm. Like, as long as they buy five, six players and add well. to that... Yes. St James's Park is a fortress... I think, again, like, it's so difficult to predict who will be in the top four, but I think Newcastle, people underestimate how good they are, yeah. how well motivated they are, how hungry they are, how well run they are. I mean, there will be change. Eddie Howe won't be the manager in three or four years. We've said that before because they'll want the manager. Think so, honestly, no. I don't think he can win the Premier League or in the Champions League, and I think they'll want to do that. But I think he's got a couple of years there, yeah. It's and I'm not, I'm not, really, I'm not sacking him. It's sad. I'd love it but to work. It's sad, but I don't necessarily agree. I, I totally he's got agree. to do that, though. He's got to win yeah, the Premier I, League. I, I think he's got to win something, I think, so in the next that. couple of years, probably, yeah. for expectation. But I, I agree with you to an extent here where I think. I disagree, and I don't think they need second, but it won't surprise, will it? No, not it yet. I don't surprise. think it happens no, 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 next no, no. year. I, I agree, but I think they will want to get a juicy name. They will want to get a real kind Look of like one City, of these big boy names. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's kind of it's just it's like inevitability. Sometimes you can just see it happening. They're following the Man City model, aren't they? And they, 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 Man City did it with Pellegrini, didn't they? they yeah, did Pellegrini yeah. to Pep and Mancini, Mancini and yeah. you just there'll be a manager that comes up. The next Mourinho, the next yeah, Pep, and they'll yeah, yeah. go. Flavor of we the month need to get him. Yeah, a flavor of the well, month. I, I, I hope that doesn't happen. No, I know. I'm with you. I'm totally. The only way he does it is if, if he wins the Premier League. Yeah. He ain't going anywhere, is he? That's that's what. But he's sometimes, doing. like you say, sometimes they might just do that anyway, even if he does win the Premier League. And go, yeah, we yeah. Want, and I hope that doesn't. It's the, it's, what, what do they call it? It's the victim of success, mm. isn't it? A victim of his own success. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well done. There's so much more chatter today than I thought. Mate, by the way, we've got the quiz. Um, should we do the giveaway for these, by the way? Um, well, it's not, how do we do the giveaway? I'm just letting you know, by the way, if you get yourself over to um, the Football Fill In Instagram page, give this picture a like of me holding these two little bad boys and we'll pick two of you. I've signed them as well. Um, but they're pretty cool, isn't they're they? Nice. I've they're entered hard, because yeah. I need some memorabilia for the Wrexham stand, which starts on August the 1st. So. The Wrexham stand. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, it's, not, it's actually not happening. So there's some Wrexham <laughs> fans getting really... Getting really <laughs> Angry about it. <laughs> um, let's talk about Man United then, okay? Um, brilliant end to the season for Man United. Really, really solid, as you like, end to the season. Battered Chelsea last week 4 1. Another good 2 1 win on the final day of the season. Um, what's next for Man United? What do they need to do to, to make sure they're in that top four again next year? Well, that David De Gea save yesterday in the, from the penalty actually kept it to nine goals conceded at home all season. So, nine goals in 19 games. That is unbelievable. So, we've built on a defence. I think. Is that, is that the lowest? I, I reckon, I bet you Chelsea, yeah, I think. Chelsea. Remember Chelsea, Peter Czech, uh, Mourinho, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Pomp era? I think, they did six, I think that, yeah, I think they let him something like. Four, home. 15 ga goals or something all season. Six they conceded home, 15 all season, so six. So, But it's nine in the season is ridiculous. That is yeah. so good. It's ridiculous, that is, so is that? Four it? points clear in Newcastle as well, yeah. um, into third. So definitively the third best team in the country, two cup finals. 
the only thing that's overshadowing it is the fact that Man City might win a treble because apart from that, it's been a great season. And now we're just in the hands of everybody else, really. You know, who it really comes down to who's going to have the best summer. It will be Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea, Newcastle. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of movement for you. Liverpool, yeah. In the summer. yeah. I think a lot of people now want to go back to, you know, back to... Yeah, and we've got to get rid of some as well. Champions League. Striker. Get rid of? Maguire's got to go... Um, I'd move McTominay on as well, Henderson. You can raise about 100 million, I reckon. Yeah, yeah you then, would be able and to. And then yeah. spend about two. I think everyone's got to spend about two, 250. Yeah, yeah this summer. I, I'm gonna, I, I know we've spoke about this loads, but if you can get Harry Kane through the door, mm. Harry Kane through the door is a game changer, I promise you. It takes it from, yeah, you'll probably get next, top four next year to, you're going to be right up there. You will be right up right. there, second position. Anyone you know I mean? you'll be Kane's right up there. Right. Because do you know why? This season, I like him, only. Yeah. Only Aston Villa and Fulham in 10th have scored less goals than Manchester United in that top 10. In that oh, top yeah, 10. Not scored enough. 58 goals in 38 games. So that's for me is the one, is the missing piece. Yeah, I think you're, you're pretty much nailed. Your midfield's nailed, your, your defence is nailed. Get a big boy up top, keep Rashford out on the left hand side. Sweet, isn't it? Harry Kane to Chelsea. What are we saying? No chance. <laughs> it's not happening, mate. He couldn't, he couldn't move around London. Come he on, Harold. He move around London. Come on, Harold. Come on over. <laughs> so, Harold of Canesworth. <laughs> no chance. You never say no chance in football. Would you be heartbroken if he went to Chelsea? Not if we got Osman. You're not going to get Osman. I know. But, I, but, I, but look, I think Chelsea and Man United both desperate need a top striker. There's a few out there. Um, it'd be interesting to see who gets what. Oh, he uh, goes to Chelsea now. Oh. I'm not bothered. He, he can't go to Chelsea. He can't go to Chelsea. I don't think. I don't think he goes anywhere. Lee, I think Daniel, Daniel, Daniel Levy won't let him. There was no, somebody. Sure. Somebody said that over the weekend that he, he, it implied that he may as well kill himself in a footballing sense if Harry Kane leaves Spurs. And yeah. I'm like, Harry Kane must be sat there going, "Oh my God, I know. Just let me go. Just he let me to, go. He has, he has to go. He has to go. Manchester has to go. He does. I think United's the open goal, but. Look, whether they can do that deal, you can't wait all summer. You've got to do it quick. Uh, fantastic season for Fulham as well. Top mm. half finish, 10th. That's brilliant, isn't it? Marco so Silva. I guarantee you, yeah, I haven't seen your Premier League predictions. I haven't seen any of them. But I guarantee you, you'd have put Fulham in the bottom three. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Exactly that. As I relegated, I relegated Fulham, all three. they're in my yeah. bottom three. I think I actually put them bottom, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, Fulham, that... Bournemouth and Forest are relegated. Oh, really? Yeah. You're miles off it. We need to do this. We need to look at them and see how we how we actually yeah, fared. Um, My video's up on that sport. We'll watch it. I, I've, oh, yeah. I've seen it. Obviously, I've already seen it. Yeah, yeah. I haven't. I haven't watched it. Um, <laughs> anybody? But yeah, <laughs> fantastic, himself. fantastic season for Fulham. Watch Top half finish. <laughs> right, like, what else? What games have we got to do here, lads? Look at this one. This is the most irrelevant game I've ever seen. Crystal Palace versus Nottingham Forest. One all draw. Um, there's not much to talk about, lads. I, uh, to be fair, I won ye for For uh, Forrest. He has come up clutch right at the most important part of the season, by the way. Chelsea, he scored he? some big goals towards this little running, you know, in these last five or six games. Some massive goals for Can Fulham. Can we talk about Morgan Gibbs White? Yes. Oh, please, let's talk about Morgan. He should be in the England squad as well. He should uh, definitely think, be in that I, squad. I bet you in the next six months he will be. Joe, you know when they bought him at the beginning of the season for 40 mil, I think it was. 40, 40 mil. mil. I was thinking football's gone mad. Football has gone mad, right? If you're paying £40 million for a player that can't really fully get into the Wolves team, football's gone mad now. It's, it's shot to pieces. Bravo, Morgan Gibbs-White. What a season that boy has I had. i say two words. Go on. Steve Cooper. Steve Cooper. Boom. Fair play for sticking with him as well from the Forest owners. I know it's been, a, a, like, again, a bit of a circus there with the players that they've bought in. But the big decisions, I think he's got them right, hasn't he? Can I say two words? Yeah. Good player. Good player. <laughs> <laughs> two words from you? Uh... Totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but I tapped my leg as well, Steve Cooper. Yeah, I like that. I like that. What, um, a, what a bell. So I think, I think that's about it for the games, you know, boys. Arsenal, Arsenal. won 5 0. Yeah, Arsenal won 5 0. You know what? Final games of the season, right? I, this is why I didn't really watch too much of it at the weekend because they're just so irrelative and they're, they're almost like pre season friendlies. They really are. There's I nothing like on the line them. and you just know something bonkers is going to happen. You're going to get a 4 all, a 5 all. I played in a 5 all, by the way. Last game of the season, Man United, West Brom, Man West Brom final game. Okay. Alex Ferguson, oh. yeah, five all. What do you think about the season? I'll tell you one thing to, before we do the quiz. What do you think about the season in general? Because I think we've enjoyed it across here, and yeah. there's been really good weeks. But ultimately, at the end of it, you can judge it. Is it one of the greatest we've had? Uh, it, 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 was, it, it, it was one of the greatest we had up until about a month ago. Mm. Up until Man City just went and see her and yeah. just went past them. It's always about the title, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think I so. I didn't yeah. like the World Cup being in the middle of it. No, no, no. No, I don't think they should, and I think <laughs> they, I think they yeah. should do that. It'd be interesting yeah. if that hadn't have happened, the momentum Arsenal had. Exactly that. It'd be interesting. Because exactly. it's, I mean, it's tired everybody as well, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And Chelsea would have won it maybe for the 
it wasn't the World Cup. It's been a, it's been a surprising <laughs> season. Were well, you not crap before the match? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were absolutely brutal before. I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying, trying to catch yeah, yeah. I think it's been a surprising season. I think if you like say, if you look at like your predictions at the start of the season and yeah. then look and see mm. how they've actually fared. Mine were terrible. Every, I, but I think everybody's is terrible. I do. I, I got Man I City everybody. and Haaland, Golden Boot and Man yeah, City. Yeah, yeah. Although I did say, I think I've got a funny feeling Arsenal might have a good season. Oh, nice. So, but it's it's been such a hard season to actually call. Mm. You know, you look at the top, I think Man City, obviously everybody would have had Man City, but the top four, Newcastle getting in there, Arsenal being... Can you remember who you had in your top four? No, I can't. Oh, Arsenal I being title like contenders up until, like you say, the last month. But for me, the be- the, the most enjoyable bit over the last few months have been the bottom as well. Yeah, like, bottom, to, bottom to, but for Leicester to get relegated it is, is outrageous, by the way. How, it's absolutely outrageous. That? Nobody would have had in them anywhere. They, most people wouldn't have had them even in the bottom half of the table. So that's the bit for me that I look at it and go, you just can't predict football. But Brendan Rodgers has been calling that for the last two seasons. He has. He's, he's been, been saying a lot about transfers. And, for, yeah. He's been saying those things. Everyone was like, he's got to go because he's kicking up. He was right. True that. I think right. I, I think the great thing about this season is, I mean, Arsenal I think did well, but the three promoted teams staying up. Yeah. If you knew that every year, <laughs> that just adds. You go, oh, who's going yeah. down oh, there? No. Who's oh, going no. down? So that's 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 a positive, I think. Yeah. Um, no, it was it was a banging season, and thank you guys for joining and being Enjoyed a part it. of the football. Loved really. we, we absolutely love you I know guys. It's not the end, but I just want to say thanks for having it's me this season. It's been wicked. Thank you, lads. Really enjoy it. Feels um, like a long time ago. When it we were does, back in the old place. I know. You know, have like back in the old one. The old set. This is the first one. This is the first season of. Season we've yeah. done the football film. It's been a long season. Um, thank you guys for being along the journey with us as well. Um, oh, here we go. Come here, you little puppy dog. You're going to join in the quiz? It's quiz time, everybody. Right, coming in, it's quiz time. Um, and don't forget, by the way, in the next few weeks, we've got all sorts of content coming up. We've got um, Team of the Season, we've got the awards show, we've got a big fat quiz of the season. Um, loads of content coming. Uh, quiz time now, though, Jamie. Are we ready and good to go? Yeah, we've got the 10 questions ready to go. Let's go. Are you guys ready? Final yeah. one of the season. This is massive. Question number one Leicester are the second club in the Premier League in Premier League history to win the Premier League title and get relegated. Who are the other two? Newcastle. Players? No. No, Newcastle have never won the Blackburn. Premier. Blackburn. Yeah. Blackburn, correct answer. That's so yeah. sloppy from me. That's so sloppy from me. You set me up there. Oh. Question two. Who did Ollie Watkins play for before joining Brentford? Oh, I know this. Uh, Exeter. Correct. Oh, yes, oh. get in there, you little beauty. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's, good. that's really good. good. That's a good, good question. Question three. <laughs> Wout well, Fass scored and assisted this weekend in the Premier League, but what nation does he play for? Belgium. Correct. I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. I can't have you. I'm going to get back. 2 0 so. 1. Question number four. Ryan Giggs has the most assists in Premier League history, but what? But which Spaniard is in second? David Silva. No. Cesc Fabregas. Correct. Yes! He's off the mark. Yes! 2 1 1. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Question number five. Sam Allardyce got relegated with Leeds this season, but who was the previous team he got relegated West with? Brom. West Brom. Oh, West Brom. Well, I sort of said... Well, you did, but you were slow. What's the scores? He's in three, one. three one, one. one. Yeah. Question six. It's a career path question. Oh. I have played for Leeds United, Swindon Town on loan, Newcastle United, Aston Villa loan, Aston Villa, Manchester City, Liverpool. James Milner. James Milner. Oh, Mark Gover is on fire. He's taken oh, my. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm not happy either. What's I'm that? not happy about like, this. Is, yeah, this is 4 one, one. He's won. I'm not no, one yet. No, 7, 8, 9, 10. Four questions left. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a, what? yeah. It's, a, it's a drubbing. I'm Man City. What is the name of Bristol City Stadium? I know this. Uh, Ashton Gate. Ashton Gate is Oh, the come on, bring it in. Oh, bring it in. I'm going to give you the answers now, okay? I'm going to feed them to you, all right? So we've got one, two, three more, yeah? Yeah. Four, two, two more, two more. Three more, three more. Question eight. eight. No, two more. This is question eight. Three more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is yeah, question eight. So three more. Three more. Question eight. Yeah, so I can, yes. I can get a draw. I can get four, two, one. Yeah. yeah. No, you said two more. No, three. Four, two, one. Question three. Uh, question so question four, eight. Four more. Let's go. <laughs> Who is the Leicester's all time record signing? I said, lad, they signed for four million. Forty. Nonto. No. Oh, this is Leicester's. That's, that's Leeds. What? Oh, I am miles <laughs> off it today. Well, I just want to go and play golf. Play golf. I just want to play golf. I do. I just want to go and play golf. Fafana. It's the only life no. we know. Oh. 
Leicester's, Leicester's, Leicester's all time. I said, come back in. Just I in said Fafana. No, no, no. Chief, Chief, yeah, still going answer. Because I said Fafana. You're against Mark now. Um, oh, I bet it's Tillemans. Five. No. Wait, what do you mean time? Yeah. Three. Yeah. 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 Two. I reckon it's Yuri Tillemans. Tillemans is the correct answer. Oh, yes! oh, 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 don't call us a comeback, baby! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. We're so happy. We're, we're gonna so get, happy. We're going to get Goldbridge. We're going we're gonna to chase him I'll down. I'll bloody give it you. <laughs> we're going to chase him down. I'll bloody give it you, man. We're going to chase him down. Is it 4-3-1? Yeah. yeah. Two left. Come on. As long as it's not Ben, I'm happy. <laughs> Uh, Luton have just been promoted to the Premier League, but what is the name of the Luton Penal player? Word. Oh! Oh, no, no, this could be massive. I've got it. Go no, no. Wait, no. wait. Who's Who, been with them since non-league? Luton yeah. have been have just been promoted <laughs> to the Premier League. Yeah. What is the name of the Luton player who has been with them since non-league? Is it Ruddock? Yep, do you have a full name? No, I don't need a full, full name. name. You need a surname. Mr. Ruddock. Penzi, Penzi, I think it is. Penzi, man. Heli, Ruddock, Penzi. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Oh, four, yeah. Four, 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 one. Four, four, one. Come on! Last. Good luck. Go on, Matt. I don't mind. <laughs> you do. <laughs> yes, you do. I, I imagine Ben just gets the answer right. Um, last question. Ben Who scored the last goal in this Premier League season? I don't know the look, timings. I can't board, tell you the but, timings. Less. But there isn't. There is no timings on the board. I know it was in the Spurs game. Kane. 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 Kane is not the correct answer. Oh, yeah, we oh, fed him alive. Oh, we oh, fed oh, him oh, alive. Oh, <laughs> 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 um, it is the, it? the Spurs game. Lucas Mora. Lucas Mora is the correct. Oh, answer. <laughs> Yeah! Come on! Yes! Come on, Chiefs, you won the last one. Ross Barkley! It's alright. Um, as long as it's not Ben, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love oh, it, lads. Well, um, love. well done, Chiefs, boy. Mate. Don't forget the um, the poster shirts over on the football fill in. Guys, that was incredible. I Thank love you all. So well done much. so much. Um, we'll see you all soon. Don't forget, loads of content coming soon. Um, say, say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Bye bye. Say bye bye. 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 Bye bye